Just, just talking about the market that we're in at the moment, uh, Tom is, I mean, there's notwithstanding some of the challenges that people are going to be facing, but, but uh, we're seeing an incredible amount of, of demand, particularly for rental properties. Uh, vacancies almost zero. Uh, we're finding that uh, every property that we're finishing has been rented uh, almost throughout this whole year before it's even completed uh, at top rent. Uh, and sometimes even above what we expect, above market rent. Uh, we've just achieving uh, this last month record rents in, in suburbs that we would, would have not thought possible uh, with multiple, multiple applications or inquiring. Any comments? I just think the, the pandemic period is turning into an, a magnificent advertisement for the uh, solidity and safety of real estate as an investment class. You know, when it first struck, there were economists lining up to predict property values were going to collapse. We're going to see falls of 20, 30, 40 percent. And when the March figures came out and they were solid, everyone said, yeah, but wait till next month. And then when the April figures came out, everyone said, yeah, but wait till next month. So here we are now, six months into it, and people are still saying, yeah, but wait till the next because six months of figures and it still hasn't happened. Real estate is hanging tough values aren't collapsing um, and many parts of Australia values are rising and um, vacancies as you mentioned are incredibly low and rents are rising. Real estate is just performing its pants off in the most difficult of times and I think that's a great advertisement for real estate as an investment. Do you think part of that too is also the fact that over the last few years obviously with uh, lending been a lot harder, a lot, uh, for, particularly for investors, uh, but also to a lot of people uh, when COVID when we first became aware of COVID, decided to sit back and wait. And so we've got less people entering the market, which has then put further upward pressure uh, in probably from a rental perspective, because there's less rentals coming onto the market, but also to people who, um, particularly own occupiers, I guess they just tend to, well, I'm not gonna sell my property, I'm just gonna sit, I'm gonna wait. And so therefore there's less properties on the market there's still buyers coming out of the woodwork, still people moving, still people really, a lot of people moving back to Australia as well uh, and investing in Australia. So, Whenever the monthly figures came out, come out on listings, they show there's a decrease, there's a big decrease and another decrease uh, compared to the previous month and compared to the, a year ago. So there's a shortage of listings um, there's, and there's a shortage of, that's listings of properties for sale, there's a shortage of properties available for rent. Um, the, the amount of new construction in Australia has dropped off in the last couple of years and according to the projections it's going to get worse for the next couple of years because of the pandemic impact. So this shortage we've got is probably going to get worse before it gets better. So all that to my mind all was very well for good property investors. It's, really it's a great option. time to be a landlord um, in Australia right now with the exception of those who own say a CBD apartment let to, through Airbnb. That would be the exception. But the, the big warning there though is make sure you're getting the right advice. You're building your team as we started at the very beginning of today is, is build your team before you build your portfolio. So uh, sit down, have the conversation uh, with the three of us or, or with the, the team you feel comfortable with who, who are the professionals and can give you strategic, unbiased, independent advice about helping you invest wisely and smartly. I think it's the best advice you can give anybody in real estate. Um, overcome this hump about not wanting to spend money up front because you'll get a much better result if you're willing to do it. Build your team before you build your portfolio. It's really important advice. Well, thank you guys for being here. And once again, uh, uh, look forward to uh, many more of these. And uh, again, just a big shout out to FC Lawyers, to hotspotting.com.au. And to Triple Zero and Danny Buxton. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.